Hello there, hope you can see me. <laughs> Above me is a really tall tree, and this tree, I'm not sure if it's called a tree really, it's a, maybe a, a palm, it's a banana tree. <clears throat> now since I've been here in Indonesia, I haven't seen any big bananas at all. And uh, what we find in the UK is quite big bananas, maybe about, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inches long. Um, the bananas here are maybe like four or five inches, and they're really tiny. You can't quite see it because it's really high up. <clears throat> so it's really funny that a lot of the fruit is really high up in the trees. Coconuts, uh, papaya, um, durian sometimes is, is reachable, but also bananas are really out, out of the way too. And this comes to make me think that in nature, um, you know, thousands of years ago when we were hunting and, and getting fruit and stuff, like we weren't just having fruit. This is why we probably were going towards having meat and hunting animals, because fruit was probably so far to reach you know really high up and um, I could probably knock those bananas off with a really long branch but even that could probably damage the tree um, so yeah you know we're used to having the bananas in England you know probably the USA and everything in the, in the West, western world where they're like this long and here they're like half the size and they're much smaller so if you've heard the really small little um, chachita I think it's called uh, bananas which are really tiny that's all I've seen grow here um, the history of the banana and what we see today in the Western world are the real big bananas, the big yellow ones, um, is that they've been uh, cultivated for so many years that they become bigger and bigger. So these are, I guess, like wild banana trees, banana palms, and um, you can eat bananas green. Um, they don't have to go yellow to eat them, but sometimes they do go yellow and you can eat them and they're quite sweet inside, they're not bitter at all. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just coming up to this this huge banana tree, it's massive. It's um, maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 foot tall, or perhaps a bit more, some a bit lower. But a lot of them seem to be really, really big. And the girth on it is really, it's really massive. I didn't expect it to be so big itself. But um, coming to um, Raja Ampat here in Indonesia, which is the west part of uh, Papua New Guinea, which isn't Papua New Guinea at all. <clears throat> Papua New Guinea is like undiscovered basically. Um, there's tribes there and everything. Here we're part of um, sort of the, the, the Raja Ampat, which is part of uh, Papua. So there's lots of uh, friendly people here. The people are beautiful and they're always giving us um, bananas because we know that we know now that we only eat vegetables. Um, I've been eating a lot of rice, which isn't great, but at home stays they give you food and you know it's. It's, uh, I guess it's a bit disrespectful to say, no, I'm not going to eat anything. So I don't do too well eating lots of rice, white rice, but I have to sustain myself. I'm not willing to fast again because I'm doing lots of moving about. And I've also got a bit of an injury on my side, which I um, <clears throat> was in the beach in Gili um, Meno, where a big wave came into me and my elbow came to my side, and I'm a bit sensitive here at the moment, so I'm a bit of pain. So I love to climb a tree and and grab some but unfortunately I, I'm not physically fit right now but I know that the diet that I eat or diet the lifestyle whatever you want to call it is that the substance the vitamins and everything I get from fruit and plant-based foods is that I'm gonna be much better and I don't feel drawn to eating fish there's a lot more fish here because of all the islands um, I haven't heard many cockerels at all chickens it seems to be much less here there's a few wild boar quite a lot of wild boar and a few more dogs here too. Um, <clears throat> I believe they eat everything, which is quite crazy. But for me, I'm happy eating bananas, which is, uh, has lots of proteins and, and, and carbs and keeps me going. Um, but I'm used to having bigger bananas and I'm used to having them in smoothies. So having the smaller bananas is a little bit more easier. But yeah, this, this huge banana tree is amazing. It's, uh, I came here earlier and it's like, wow. It's like the place is buzzing. You can feel the energy of this place. It's, uh, it's just fresh, wild, exotic, and um, in abundance. And that noise was a coconut falling. So I'm going to go and find that coconut and uh, report to you back later. So take care and I'll speak to you soon.